Notice that on the front of the storage system, the enclosure with the lit amber alert LED also has a lit solid blue UID location LED. This confirms the bezel to remove to access the drives in the enclosure. Remove the bezel by squeezing the release on the left side and pivoting the bezel off of the front of the enclosure. Locate the drive with the blue UID and Amber Alert LEDs lit. Caution! Do not remove the drive until the blue UID Location LED on the drive turns solid, indicating that it is safe to remove the drive. Caution! To avoid overheating your storage system, you have 10 minutes to replace the drive once the failed drive has been removed. If 10 minutes isn't enough time, install a drive blank until you are ready to replace the drive. Attach your ESD wrist strap to an unpainted surface of the enclosure or rack. Press the Release tab. The drive handle will pop out. While supporting the drive from underneath, carefully extend the drive handle and slide the drive out. Compare the label on the failed drive and the replacement drive to confirm that the class, speed, and capacity matches. While supporting the replacement drive from underneath, oriented with the Release tab in the Open position, carefully align and slide the drive into its slot until it is fully seated. Close the drive handle until it locks into position. Confirm that the drive is fully seated with its front flush with the other drives. The green status LED should blink and then become fully solid for a short time when the drive has been reintegrated into the storage system. Once normal drive activity starts, the green status LED will blink again. Note, for regions or exceptions that support large form factor LFF drives, the process is essentially the same. Replace the bezel by towing in the right end and snapping in the left side of the bezel to secure it to the front of the enclosure. 